Hi everyone, I'm Brian Welk and I am the RAP's in-house royal wedding expert. And I'm Francisco and I work here as well. And today we're going to tell you about the seven biggest things you need to know about the wedding between Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. All right, here we go. So the first thing, the reason this is such a big deal is because Meghan Markle is the first American welcomed into the royal family and she's also biracial. She's even a divorcee, so this is very rare for the for the royal family. It's like being a candidate for president in every part of the world. Like, the guy from my country, Nicolas Maduro, he's a bus driver. That was his previous job. Oh, did he? No, and should you not. Did he have a, a royal wedding as well? <laughs> it was, it was just weird. Another interesting stat is that Meghan Markle is 36 years old, which is the same age as Princess Diana when she died. Nothing to add. One of the neat things you may not know about Meghan Markle is that that's not even her real first name. Her real first name is Rachel. And we found this out when the Queen sent out her letter to the Privy Council announcing Rachel Meghan Markle would be joining the royal family. Is there a valid reason for this? Is this no, just I mean, a stage name? or She's just been going by this name since she was a child. It's not even really a stage name. This is just part of her... Uh, something that she's been going by all her life. I think it has a nice ring to it, too. Number four, there are a ton of A-list celebrities that are coming to this wedding. Of course, Meghan Markle is a Hollywood actress on the show Suits, so her whole cast is going to be there, including her on-screen love interest will be there as well. And it's suspected that even Elton John, who is a close friend of Princess Diana, might be there as well. He canceled two different concerts that happened to coincide with the wedding date. What a, yeah, what a guy. You big Elton John yeah. fan, Francisco? Yeah. He's big in Venezuela. All the way. Yeah, Tiny Dancer, Jill Road. Can That's you about it. <laughs> Number five. Now, you may be wondering, will Meghan Markle become a princess once she joins the royal family? The answer there is, sadly, no. There's no Hollywood fantasies there. Uh -huh. Why can't she be a princess? Well, you have to be uh, born of a monarch in order to become a prince or princess, and that's how you inherit the title. She will, however, become a, a duchess, and as will Prince Harry. So it's likely that their title will be the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The main judge for the Tribunal of Justice in Venezuela, it's basically a disgraced cop that has killed a lot of people. And yeah, that's an example of justice there. Uh, the president, he was member of the syndicate of subway drivers, and he was a bus driver as well. And yeah, so you basically can inherit as well the presidents in Venezuela. So they have that in common, I guess. So it's likely that uh, Meghan Markle's title will be the Duchess of Sussex, and she would be the first ever person to, the woman to hold that title. Now, you may be wondering, um, yeah. what is the Duchess of Sussex? Why do they have that, that title in particular? Yeah, does she have any duties? No, Towards? no. <laughs> like, what do you do with that title? It's all ceremonial. But it previously comes back to British times that are the Duke and Duchess of Connaught, uh, the Duke and Duchess of Clarence, uh, the previous Duke of Sussex, died in 1843 Not in, in the UK. Country. It's part of the Republic of Ireland. So that kind of has its own baggage that, you know, whether or not he should become the Duke of Connaught. But the biggest thing, number seven, is where can you watch it and when? Where the, and when, Brian? The wedding will take place at St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle, and it'll air at 7 a.m. Eastern Time. Coverage for most places starts at 4 a.m. Eastern Time, so if you're on the West Coast like us and are willing to wake up at 1 a.m. and stay up for hours, feel free to do that.